What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Got some actual good things going for the gray car today. So you may be wondering, what are those in the background? So I actually got some wheels for this car. They uh, came up on Marketplace for a really good deal with tires. Um, you know, I'm always on Marketplace every day just kind of looking for a good deal and they just happened to pop up. I wasn't really planning on running these wheels. Like they were kind of up in the air for consideration. But, you know, a good deal is a good deal. So, here we have the Cosmos Racing XT206R. You may recognize these because I used to have them on my first ever RSX from high school. These are literally my first set of wheels I ever had on, on like, my car, any of my cars. I ran them for a couple of years back in high school to, like, a 2019, maybe. And then... The car was down, I got RPF ones and then Regan Masters. So these are on Marketplace, really good deal. They are a little bit beat up. As you can see here, there's some scratches and scuffing. Just they are used, you know, they're used wheels, but for what I paid for them, I can't really complain. You know, it's just a little bit, you know, what you expect for used wheels, but they actually balanced out like super mint, like one weight per wheel. Like it's pretty crazy. Like. Let's see here. This one's got three. That one's literally got one. That one over there's got one. So pretty stoked to be running these wheels again. Um, you may be wondering what I'm doing, why there's just random rags and stuff. So I'm trying to clay bar the dirt and stuff off of these wheels, but it's not really like, some of it's coming out, but some of it's not. So I'm trying to clean these up before I put them on the car. And then over here, we actually got some new camber arms installed. I just finished those up earlier today. Really simple. It's just those two bolts back there. And then this one here, they're all 17 millimeter. And then you just set your camber where, however you want. I currently have it maxed out cause I'm gonna go get an alignment after. So I'm just gonna have them adjust it when it's on the rack. So I'm gonna start off with max camber, but we got the camber arms done. I adjusted the ride height. I lowered it a little bit more. And then, uh, what else we got? My boy, Sean, is on his way now with a fender roller. So I have personally never done it before. He said he's done it maybe once. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna figure it out. You know, it can't be that hard to roll fenders, quarter panels, you know? So he's coming here now with his fender roller. We're just gonna try it out you know i mean i've watched some videos online i'm not a professional by any means but we're gonna give it a go and, and then uh hope for the best hopefully i don't mess up my quarters on my paint that would really suck but like everybody wants like 150 200 to do it and my boy's got one so we're just gonna give it a go but in the meantime i'm trying to clean up these wheels the best i can before we roll the fenders and yeah that's why i'm wearing this bright orange shirt it's one of my work shirts i'm just trying not to get my nice stuff super filthy but it's actually not too bad out today it was just just finished raining fi finally it's been raining for like three days again it's always fucking raining but now that it's done raining we can finally get some stuff done on the car um yeah i'm trying to get it to ccsu car show sunday i haven't been to that show in forever my cars are just never ready in the spring for i don't know just never so that's what we're doing today. Fender roll, put the wheels on, adjust the coilovers, and yeah, we'll see how she goes. So what's up to the video, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> we got our little fender roller here. Um, I already kind of started a little bit. There's one part here that's kind of giving us a hard time. It's like a little bit wavy. So I might have to hit that with a hammer and a piece of wood just to get it to flatten out. My uh, buddy Mike, who's done this a few times, recommended that. But right now we're just heating it up a little bit more. I already started to roll it and it's going all right so far. It doesn't look like there's any cracking in the quarters. Just this one spot here is giving us a hard time. So I already adjusted the roller kind of where it needs to be. It's like as far as it'll go for angle. I probably should have done this before I lowered the car because it brings the hub up, which gives you less room to have less angle. So for now, we're just gonna keep working at it. All right, let's give it a little roll. 
So I already adjusted the tightness of it. Temperature feels all right. It's starting to roll. It's definitely got more of a curve than it did before. I can feel it. You see how my finger kind of just follows the line? Oh, you can see the line. Yeah, right. before it was like a straight flat. So that's good. I don't really know how far we have to go on this. A good amount, I would assume. Probably gonna have to test fit a couple times. Yeah. So you might, your paint might crack a little bit when you do this. It's like kind of bound to happen. Like as you can see right here, it's starting to crack just a little bit, but that's also from previous owner or maybe there was just a little bit of rust in here to begin with but we'll keep rolling it it's not too bad i want to at least get this middle section done before i move on to that one how's she feeling oh wow that's a lot better <laughs> yo you when you watch this back you'll see how much it rolled yeah, let me get a little more heat in it it's starting to feel cold trying to heat up the lip that's on the inside of this and then once you get the inside warm you want to swap to the outside a little bit that way you don't crack the paint So I just finished rolling this side of the car. Um, we're about to test fit the wheel now. As you can see here, the, the lip is on a crazier angle than it was before. Before it used to be kind of flat. Uh, as you can see, we started to get rained on. <laughs> Every time, I swear to God, I go to work on something out here, it starts pouring. So now we're gonna test fit this wheel and see how it looks. Yeah. take out a lot of camber. What's that? You could take out a lot of camber, bro. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be way too much camber, but. It's already too much camber. You can take out so much. I just, I maxed it out when I put it on. I don't, it's just like. Yeah, they're gonna be able to pull out a lot. I see. just maxed out the, the camber arm because I was like, you know what? When I go get the alignment, I'll just have the alignment guy fucking adjust Fix it. it. I think one of these studs is messed up here. That or two of them are, I don't remember. <laughs> one or two of them. Oh, I need two anyways, you know. All right, let me tighten those down a little bit. I think the socket's in here. This gun was like the best thing I ever bought, bro. <laughs> this Milwaukee half inch, kicks ass. All right, that should be enough to test fit. Here comes the rain again. Yeah, right. It just stopped for like 10 minutes and now it's raining again. So pain. I think they're gonna be way okay. I'm definitely gonna be okay. That's definitely too much camber. Probably this thing's gonna fit so good. Probably look like right there, right? Because yeah. the car started to move up. Yeah. Either way, you have hella clean. You have so much clearance. Yeah, that's a lot of clearance. That's with a 215 40. So yeah. I could I could probably run like a 225 40 all around. Yeah. Because I have the 225 40 as so I was going to put them in the front, but you think I should put them in the back maybe? Because that's a good amount of 
I yeah, mean, I could fit my two fingers in there easy. Yeah, but when you pull out the camera, yeah, I'll have to have back out some of that camber because that's a lot. And that shouldn't rub there. I think that I made the right call by going a little farther. Yeah, definitely. It will clear the whole front of the wheel. For sure. That looks good. So I'll put the rest of the logs on this later, but that's definitely a lot of camber. <laughs> I mean, I'll drive it like that to the alignment. That way I'm not the one messing with the camber. You could always just pull it as out. As long as I'm not like... Kind of looks like it's kind of got a weird toe, but... Oh, the, the toe is definitely messed up, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for, for a fact, the toe is definitely messed up. But that's probably at least negative six or seven degrees. <laughs> probably but, like six or seven to be honest with you dude my car that's how much my car has yeah they're standing back here that looks crazy <laughs> that's a lot of camber bro i wanted like maybe like three to four degrees at the most yeah. gotta be like six or seven degrees come back here we're gonna come back here that shit looks fucking bananas <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Ruining the RSX one day at a time. That looks crazy, bro. The always so much better. I'm definitely going to need to adjust that when I get on the rack. He's going to be like, bro, you got like negative seven. You want to leave it? <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> I mean, I could probably adjust it myself right now, but... Dump it some more. No, no, we should adjust it out. I can move it out. It's not that hard, it's just an adjustable wrench. Yeah, let's roll this side first. All right, me and uh, Sean are doing the other side. It's, I think it's finally done raining for the day. We got absolutely poured on about 25 minutes ago. We went, took a break, got some lunch. Now we're onto the other side. We test fit the wheels on the other side. And the 22540 seems to fit the best. But when I bought these wheels, it came with two 22540s and it came with three 21540s. So I just kind of wanted to experiment with sizing a little bit. And I mean, I, they came with the wheels, so I can't complain. But when I do need to replace the tires, I think I'm going to run a 22540 all the way around. That seems to be the best fit. And we dialed in the camber on both sides. The ride height's pretty good. If I need to adjust it after I can but once we roll this side we're gonna put the rear wheels on see how it looks and then uh, move to the front hopefully the front's not too bad I got to take off the there's like a fender liner in the front that we got to take off but it's only like a couple clips so it shouldn't be too bad but we're about to start rolling this side here and then uh, throw the wheels on what's the other front of it yeah, that looks really good. We just dropped the car on the ground. <laughs> yeah, damn. There's one thick ass bitch. This shit looks crazy. This side probably has a little bit less camber on it. And the, I don't know. It might just be the way my driveway is or it needs to settle. Yeah. But I think this side's a little bit higher. But. It pokes a little bit. I mean, I I still need to get an alignment and the toe is definitely off. But it looks really good. I think this side's got more camber. I mean, I, I'll ask the guy when I go to get an alignment. Because this side seems like it, it kind of tucks the top of the wheel almost. I'd like to go just a little bit lower. But my driveway is also crooked. So this side's up higher than that side. So there's more weight on this wheel. Yeah, there is more. It's way better. This side definitely looks better. Yeah, it doesn't even look towed out. It no. Pad, this side definitely looks like pretty much on point. And that's with the 22540 in the back. I'll probably end up running that. It looks good. You might have to run <laughs> If you're going to hit bump or anything. What? Run a 215 in the back? Yeah, that's pretty close. This thing's gonna hit and push this out. Well, it'll also camber in. True, yeah. As it hits a bump. Yeah. Well, let's do the front 
and then see how the 215 40 fits in the front and if if we need more in the front we can just swap it yeah so we got we got a little more work to do here but that's a pretty good start i like that a lot so let me get the front of this car done all right we're uh doing our first test drive just got done rolling all the quarters and fenders and we're doing a little test drive so far no rubbing at all you can probably see here <laughs> it's got a good amount of camber on the driver side the passenger side's got a little bit less but it doesn't rub on either side so far and I went down my driveway, no issues. The front doesn't rub. I only rolled the driver side just to see if I needed it. And the passenger side I left alone and it doesn't rub at all. My alignment's pretty trash, but other than that, it feels good. I gotta get the alignment done tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna leave it at this height. This here, the ride's good. I might just match the camber to whichever side looks better because right now it doesn't rub at all so we're gonna give it a little bit of beans here and see if she rubs at all underneath the load here i'll let you record Pretty good for a first little ride. The lighting was perfect. Yeah. It's probably just rubbing right here. A little bit or something. I don't know. It seems all right. It's probably the fender liner rubbing. Yeah, the fender liner rubs a little bit at full lock. But that's all right. How does everything else look? Pretty good. Doesn't look like we rubbed on the fender at all, really. You would kind of see it. I didn't even roll this side, and it's good. That This might be our fitment right here on this side. But I don't know. I might add a little bit just because that's kind of a crazy poke. Compared to this side, yeah, this side's a big camber. Yeah, that thing's, yeah, thing's talking. What's up? That's crazy. All 
All right, guys, we're on our second test drive now. I uh, just parked it after that first one. Sean had to take off, so now we're on our second test drive here. So far, so good, no complaints. The alignment's just really bad. Um, the car drives mint. I don't have any rubbing from what I can tell. I'm just trying to listen for the noise of the rubbing, but as of right now, I don't, I don't really hear anything or see anything. Um, I do rub a little bit in the front when I'm at full lock just because of the fender liners. So I don't really know how much lower in the front I can go, but I want to keep this car practical. You know, it is going to be my daily driver. So that's why I didn't want to drop any lower than like a 40 sidewall. And in the front, I have the 215 40 just because in the front, I, I can't pull as much camber with the way that the, the, uh, the knuckle is I'd have to shave the knuckle which I might end up doing but it's pretty good where it's at honestly so I don't even know if it's like really necessary so I'm on my first drive over like I hit 60 miles an hour no issues I don't have any issues going over bumps or taking turns so far everything seems like it's working how it's supposed to you know so super happy for that shout out to my boy sean for letting me use his fender roller and coming through to help me that was like super real of him so we're on our way now to get a haircut actually car drives muy bueno i just gotta fix that you see how it's idling up and down idle air control valve gotta get cleaned but that's that's like a common rsx issue super happy with how it looks the it's got a bit of camber a little more than i intended to run but dude it, it looks fucking awesome i gotta post a picture here of how my car used to look in high school because i used to run the same wheels but it, the fitment was a little bit different so i'm really happy with how this came out and uh yeah it's pretty dope all right so we just pulled up to the barber shop with the rsx finally common RSX bumper things, but here's how she looks. Damn, that goes crazy. Front fitment, not too bad. The rear's got a lot of camber. Goddamn. She looks awesome. Car drives really good. Super happy with it. But yeah, that's going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the fender rolling and the, I don't know, the fitment dialing. Super happy to have this car on some wheels again, or for the first time, other than those black ones that came on it. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more RSX content. Peace.